Shooting analog photography is all fun and games until you're out shooting with your super cool retro film camera, then all of a sudden you're interrupted by having to pull the latest version of Apple's iPhone out of your pocket to use a newfangled light metering app. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, that looks an awful lot like the Voigtlander VC meter. And as Domo made seems to be a Chinese company, you'd probably be right. But coming in at only about $115 from the Domo sites, we'll just gloss over any similarities. But just like that Voigtlander VC meter, the Domo made Meter D is a cold shoe mount dial controlled light meter to help you meter those shots on those old vintage cameras that may not have any sort of built in metering. These cold shoe mounted meters can really streamline your shooting process. So let's take a look at the Meter D. I have the black version. There are three versions, a silver version, a black on silver version, and an all black version. Looking at the top, you can see that there are two dials. You have the f-stop and the ISO on the left, and you have the shutter speed on the right. On the top left of the device, you can see the Domo made logo, and on the top right, you can see your LED indicators, of which there are three. There's a minus, a circle, and a plus. The circle lights up green when you have your shot perfectly exposed, the minus lights up red when you're underexposed, and the plus lights up red when you're overexposed. It's a reflective only light meter and you can see the opening in the front with the little glass window where the meter reads the lot. On the back there's a single button and this is the button that actually meters the shot. In terms of operating this little guy, it's really rather simple. You press the button on the back that we just identified, it's going to read the lighting out on those LEDs at the top of the meter. And then you're going to change your settings accordingly with the dials on the top. And once you get the correct exposure, you're going to input those settings into your camera. Looking at the left dial, you can see we have an ISO range of 25 all the way up to 6400. We take account of the aperture from 1 to 22, and then a shutter speed of 1 second all the way to 2,000th of a second. The lot meter does have built-in shutter priority and aperture priority modes. In terms of the build quality, judging from the shots of the device itself, it's really, really well built. Everything on it is metal or glass, feels very solid in the hand, and feels like it could stand up to a few dings. For that $115 price tag, very well made, nicely built device, and it puts you in mind of one of the Voigtlanders or the Laka meters. In terms of the drawbacks for a device like this, probably the most common complaint I've seen from folks online about this meter is that it can meter rather inaccurately. Another really significant drawback is that it actually can't be calibrated. So if your meter is predictably underexposing or overexposing, and you wanted to calibrate your meter in some way to take a account for that, um, you're not going to be able to do it on this meter. It doesn't allow for any sort of calibration. Another drawback, it's 115 bucks, and in a world where you can snag a light meter for free off of the App Store, if you're really worried about money, this may not be the best option for metering your shots. You may rather deal with the hassle of pulling your phone out of your pocket and then inputting the settings into your camera instead of having to pay the cost. Some of the good things about the light meter is while it's $115, it's a far cry from the 200 and something dollars that the Voigtlander light meter would set you back. Another significant selling point of the Meter D is how good the thing looks. Um, when I've got it in the top of my camera, it is a really attractive light meter and it doesn't take away from that vintage retro feel that many of us are, are going for when we're carrying around these old cameras. Part of the appeal of these cameras is how good they look. Part of the appeal of these cameras is how good they look and a meter like this does nothing to get in the way of that. We talked about how well built this thing is. It seems like it's gonna last for a really, really long time. Something else that's worth talking about is the battery that this thing uses. It uses a CR1632 lithium battery. And unfortunately, there isn't one packaged inside the box. As I found out, you will have to run out to the store. And depending on how rural of an area that you live in, you may actually need to order those batteries offline. You may have a hard time finding that specific coin battery. Domo also advertises 60 hours of battery life out of the battery in this device as well. And I can't say for sure whether that's accurate or not because I've not fully ran one out yet. So who's this device for? It's obviously for somebody who wants to shoot old film cameras, but even more nuanced than that, someone who's concerned with the film aesthetic. Someone who wants to bring along a lot meter of some sort, but doesn't want to interrupt the film photography aesthetic that they're obviously they're trying to curate. So if you want an old camera with an old looking lot meter that's built really well, but will allow you the convenience of having automatic metering on the top of your camera, the Domo Meter D lot meter may be the one for you. Take a look at this video where I show you five of my favorite film stocks. But as always guys, thanks so much for watching.